Sculpty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together, we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hey, welcome to Quilty. I'm Mary and this is... Mary Ann. Mary Ann. And we are mother and daughter. <laughs> we are Fonzes. <laughs> I'm the mom. She's the daughter. Uh, mom, guess what? There's a hot trend. I know. It's big blocks. Yes. Big blocks are huge right now. Yeah, that's really funny. Oh, my God. Yeah, big blocks are huge. Mm -hmm. well, so, well, it could be because you get a ton of mileage out of your work. And, and, you do. You know, and, and the graphic quality of patchwork is great, whether it's little or big. It really is. This is a little version of a, well, it's a sort of a standard version of a mm -hmm. snail block. It's actually a, called the 21st Century Snail. It's a, mm -hmm. a pattern that's coming up in Quilty in 2015. And uh, uh, I made this one. I think it's about eight inches, something like yeah. that. I just, I just wanted to, because, as you'll see, I wanted to see what it would look like yes Blown miniaturized yes. yes because right. what i was preparing for the show today yes. is quite different exactly so a snail trail block is it called anything else well you know it's folk art so there's always lots of names don't get your undies in a bundle about the certain name right. of a block right. because they have lots of names some are, are the most popular but there is a traditional block called snail trail or, or something else that looks like that it's kind of got twist. this spiral yes. twist thing going yes. on mm -hmm. so let's take a look at the block that we're going to make today right. a big version of yes. what we just saw and I'm, I'm forgetting even how big this is but this is going this is running in the magazine 18, 18, 18 inches 18, thank you 18 inches which is huge huge so it doesn't Enormous. take many to make the quilt that's going to be in quilting. it does take a lot of fabric though you're not going to get by with yeah. any less well, fabric i made the green version and then because it was so big, I didn't have enough fabric to do this stuff. <laughs> the truth so, is that's revealed. Truth. So I switched to the pink. And so we've laid this out here. I don't know if I should talk, if you should talk. I think you should. Uh, so we laid this out here so everybody could see, but we have sort of a surprise. We're going to have a reveal mm -hmm. underneath. Instead of, usually on TV, a reveal is for the finished thing, but we're going to reveal the unfinished part. That's so true. Okay, so I'm going to whisk it away. Okay. And we're going to spread these out a little bit to show you, to show everybody how easy this is because there's really only two units. There's the pink mm -hmm. with the this triangle on in, in black and white, and then there's a black and white with the triangle on in pink. And we use the flippy corner method to make mm -hmm. these units. And so, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these units mm -hmm. is all you need yes. to make this block. And it just depends on how you turn them. Right. right. So you need, for every block, you need four that are the kind that has the smaller white triangle mm -hmm. and four of the kind that has the smaller pink triangle. Right. Contrasting is really important in a snail block. You Low contrast, unless you really know what you're doing and you want mm -hmm. it to be a low contrasty kind of thing, uh, your best bet for a beginner, go with high contrast to make sure you're really seeing that right. spiral. Otherwise, it's going to get muddy and you won't you won't see it. And it's okay, but why do all the work if you're not going to see the patchwork? Right. 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 And with these big blocks, I think you want to you want to paint with a broad stroke. Yes, I agree. So we have one unit that's not finished. Yep. Let's do and it. so you know you have a square. And a, this is really like a goose unit, only only half of it. A goose chase, a flying geese. Okay. The geese got cut in half. I don't know, but it's just you know people playing around with ideas. And so I drew the line. And so uh, these are big. I, I put pins in them because a lot of times I just wing that, but this is so large. Oh, yeah. So no I way. drew the line from uh, corner to corner. Do um, you have another pin on the yeah, other side? Yeah, sure, if you want. And I can have all the pins that I want, you right? You can. Okay. And so you're just going to sew on that line like we've done, we do so many times. That's right. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to make sure I've got fabric under my needle so it's got something to chew. Mm -hmm. Someone said I changed their life when I told them that. It I was does like, help. wow, you know? I mean, changing lives? Yes, right here on Quilty. Not bad. I mean, I'm not curing any diseases, but. We're just making it more fun. Yeah. Patchwork more fun. Fun with patchwork. Yeah. And of course, I, I would chain through a whole raft of those. Definitely. So, and I always like to make sure my pins get back in the pin cushion because I don't want to cut them with my rotary cutter. No. So we're going to flip this out. That's mm -hmm. why we call it flip the corners. 
finger press, and now we're going to cut this off. I would probably press it with an iron. I don't know, it's big. I just Should we take the time? No, it's cool. Okay, but it's we cool. would. Yeah. We would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, the iron really flattens things down so that you know for sure that you have lined up those um, corners. Mm -hmm. That's the, the critical thing with that. Now, the waist with this is kind of large. We're going to have a tip here in just a second. So, so I'm going to save this to make a point later. So then this flips out. And then it's just a matter of joining these pieces, joining these pieces, joining, joining these, these pieces, pieces. Mm -hmm. and joining then pieces. and then you join here. You have the two halves of the block, and you know you just always are taking the smaller pieces and joining them into bigger pieces, mm -hmm. and so that you have ever longer seams. That's really. right. Mm -hmm. And what's so interesting about generational gaps? My mother joins horizontally, uh, or no, vertically. Vertically. Like you would join this to this, mm -hmm. and and this is. I'm like I'm like an open book. I do it like a book. It's just interesting. Well, and, it doesn't and, matter. and especially so when you're putting a quilt together and you have the the rows, your rows are vertical yep. and mine are horizontal. Yep. I mean, yep. your rows are horizontal, mine are vertical. Right. Mine are up and down. Six of one, nineteen of the mine other. Are mine are dyslexic. Actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like. Okay, this is a great tip. Show the okay. tip in the okay. time we have left. So this was kind of a large waist piece. So instead of doing that, instead of cutting it off, instead of cutting it off, right, what you do is, here's our line, and I've sewn this, this is the line that we drew, we've shown everybody, but before I sew it, I put my ruler a half inch away from that first line, mm. in other words, I draw two lines, I draw this line, and I draw this line, and I sew both of them, Both. which means it takes a little longer, mm -hmm. but now I've sewn it, I'm, may I go ahead and cut yes, it? Yes, okay, please. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. I don't know if you've ever done this because you only it only makes sense if it's big stuff. Okay, so look at this. Look what you get. So great, you get a half square triangle, sort of as a bonus. But there's something wrong with it. Yes, it's, it's not any. It's not a normal size. So we want to press it. There's something wrong there's with something it. There's something wrong with it. That's what. While it. she's pressing that, I'm going to show you that this really great ruler, the square up ruler, um, is perfect for this sort of thing because you want to square up. Right. You want to get the most you can get out of this because it's not any kind of normal usable size. I don't think. No. So it's kind of weird. So you have to decide. It's like two and what is it? Show people what well, it is. It's like it's like. It's like, it could be four inch, inch finish, so three and a half, uh, yeah. You could cut, trim it down to four, and then it'd be three and a half finished. I would trim it down to four inches, mm -hmm. and then it could finish three and a half. Okay, so yeah. I'd trim one side, I'd turn it, I'd trim the other side. And you can have a second quilt going yeah. while you're doing these big blocks. A lot of big blocks are gonna, gonna be good for this, because yeah, you're gonna it, trim off big pieces. And it takes, you know, you just use more thread, more sewing, but it's a bonus because you're not wasting those. You're not throwing away a bazillion of these. You hold up this one. Okay. I'll hold up this one. The, the, the great big brother and the little brother. Or mother-daughter. Okay, mm. bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott, Cottons that feel like silk. OmniGrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.